So you see Rick's talking to you a little bit about hand reflexology versus foot reflexology. So why hand and why feet? Well, we need to do whatever we need to do. And I'd recommend that you experience it, do it, whatever it is, whether it's hand, whether it's feet, as a massive advocate of reflexology. And I do practice and teach gentle touch reflexology. I really want to encourage you to do anything that you can within the world of reflexology. And what I want to talk about today is a little bit about why hands versus feet possibly. Well, your hands, they're really big. Yeah, your fingers are huge in comparison to your feet. These are my lovely training feet from my training school that I use when I'm teaching reflexology. So if you see the size of your toes, they're really quite diddy, quite small in comparison to the size of your fingers. So your fingers are enormous in comparison. So any of the reflex points that are on these toes, which are also found on your hands, which is quite cool, right, isn't it? Same reflexes on your toes are found on your hands. So when you are working on your hands, you've got much more access to the reflex points that are in your fingers, right? Because it's easier to be able to get in between your fingers than it is to be able to get in between the toes. Now it's quite possible to be able to get in between toes as well, but we never want to use any force. So sometimes foot reflexology is absolutely the best thing to do, but other times it might be foot reflexology is fantastic because people don't know what reflexology is like and they might be very off put by the idea of you doing foot reflexology, but they might let you have a go at doing a little bit on your hands. So sometimes doing some very simple techniques by going down with gentle touch reflexology techniques by using on the hands can really introduce people into reflexology. So if you just wanted to do one thing, right, maybe it might be something that if you are a reflexologist and you want to introduce people to the concept of reflexology, you could do a tiny bit just on their hands to get them involved in the interesting subject of reflexology. And using hand techniques means that they've experienced it, they've felt it, and that's something that's marvellous because now they know what it feels like. Now they know whether they want to have it on their feet or their hands. So as a passionate advocate of hand reflexology, I wish you lots of love. This is Sue Ricks talking about gentle touch reflexology, hand reflexology techniques with love from suerix.com.